Okay, and as that's loading, um, yes, my name is Annie Jacobson. I'm the Director of Enrollment and Student Engagement. And so I'm here to talk about that second part of my title, which is the student engagement piece, how to get involved. And what you'll see from these slides is that they say online orientation on them. So those of you who have completed the online orientation have had access to this information already. And if you would like it and don't have access, all you need to do is, is let us know. Um, you can email admissions at westshore.edu, and that'll go straight to me. All right, so here we go. Research, it proves that students who play an active role in their school community are not only happier, but they're more academically successful. And, you know, we're, we're a college, right? So we want you to be academically successful, but we also, more than anything, want you to be happy. And so one way to do that is to provide a lot of opportunities for you to get involved. Jody, could you move it? Thank you so much. All right, so one way to do that is to get active in our wellness center. Um, our rec center has just reopened after being shut down for COVID for many months. And so we're so excited to be able to allow students and community members back into that space. So we do have cardio equipment there, a pool, a weight room, a gym, racquetball. I'm not sure that the ice arena has opened quite yet. Um, I think that I saw Amy nodding there. So correct me, um, Amy, Julie, anyone who might know about the ice arena. <laughs> um, but our disc golf course is open and, and always free to everybody. It's outdoors. So as long as you are enrolled in a West Shore class, all of this is free. Um, you don't have to pay anything. All you need is your student ID number and you just show up to our rec center. And the first time you might need to fill out a form, but then after that, um, you're good to go. Okay, the other thing that a lot of our students do is get on-campus jobs. So for some of you, this might be part of your financial aid package, something called work-study. Um, but even if you didn't qualify for work-study, you can still work on campus. We're always looking for students. Um, I list some places over here on the left side of the screen for places where students work. Amy mentioned the writing center and the tutoring center as places to go to receive help, but if you are a strong writer or you, you know, have a really strong knowledge base in another subject area, maybe you could work in either the writing or the tutoring center as your on-campus job. They're always looking for qualified students. And some of the, the things that are really nice about working on campus are that we understand your schedule, right? So um, when you work on campus with people that you're working with and for, um, can help create a flexible schedule around your classes and also gives you experience working in a more professional setting. Um, you don't need to drive from classes to work. We understand when things like finals are coming up and each college position emphasizes strong academics, right? And I know that a lot of our students who work off campus really can, can struggle to find that work life school balance. Um, and our students who work on campus really struggle with that much less because they're working in a community that supports um, and is based on their academic success. Okay, and this is, this is a big one, my friends. So um, other ways to get involved are to join a student organization. We call them registered student organizations or RSOs. Um, this list was updated over the summer, so we had over 20 active RSOs on campus last year. So Student Senate is the governing body on campus, so um, those students really help plan a lot of activities, and, but there's a lot of other ones here um, connected to so many different hobbies and ideas and interests like um, Active Minds, which is you know, for students who really want to focus and emphasize mental health, we have an art club, we had a badminton club last year, business professionals, so this is a professional organization, but for you gamers, we have esports and SG3. Um, the rifle club was new to us last year because we have the Reamer Public Safety Building, which has a shooting, a shooting range in, in the basement. Haven is our LGBTQ plus um, RSO. Just lots of cool stuff. Um, so if you want to join one, we have a lot of information available. Um, all you need to do is send an email or um, part of our website. There's a place to, to go and get involved there. 
And if you want to start your own RSO, if there's nothing up here that is of interest to you, um, I just had one student approach me who wants to start a disc golf club. And so all he needs to do is to complete a form. You can again email me or admissions at admissions at westshore.edu and you'll complete a form. You need a buddy and an advisor who's just any West Shore faculty or staff member to get started. And we have a lot of money available to our students um, who, who want to use that to, to do things to enrich their, their on-campus and college experience. So um, the one other thing that I would like to add here that I don't, that I did not include in our orientation information is the um, Ferris Connections program, which is of particular interest to students who might be going to Ferris, but it's really for all of, all of our students here at West Shore to give them the opportunity to have more of a larger university experience. Um, you don't have to take any classes, you just fill out a quick little online form and, um, and we'll send your information along to Ferris. You'll have a student ID from Ferris and so you can participate in a lot of the social events that any Ferris student will have accessible for free. Plus you could use their rec center. They have a rock climbing wall, which is super awesome. So, and I'm in charge of that program. So again, send me an email. I can give you all the information you need. And I think that's it. Thank you to all the directors who were willing to take time out of their busy schedules and share with us today. Director Pepper from the Tutoring and Testing Center, Director Dill from Student Access and Resources, and Director Jacobson from Enrollment and Student Engagement. So I know that we had a couple of questions online. Um, one of them, one of the other ones that I wanted to mention was how do students get involved or how would you recommend students get involved when everything is online? How can they feel a part of campus and feel a part of life? And this is kind of open, not just to, to you, Annie, but to everybody. How can students get engaged while they're virtual? So um, I can kick us off with that answer if anyone else would like to jump in, by all means do so. But right now, again, as student, a student senate advisor, we are really taking a lot of our engagement opportunities online. Um, we have a, a Facebook page. I know that, I don't know if Facebook is still a thing that a lot of students use, but we tend to have the most engagement there. So that's the platform that we're using. So our Facebook page is WSCC and then the word SOAP. Um, it stands for Student Activities and Organizations Programs, um, Programming. Um, and so that's where we post events for all of the, the speakers that we have coming up. We just had a, a speaker last week talking about you know, how to, how to create the life that you want to live. We have another speaker next week who's going to be presenting um, on racial diversity and anti-racism. We have another speaker, a comedian coming up in October, and then another speaker in November who will be speaking about mental health. Um, so there's a lot of ways to, to find out what, what various events um, are going on on campus by checking out that, that page on Facebook. Um, and I also in, encourage students to, to get into Canvas. Now and then I know you need to do so for your classes, but we also post a lot of announcements there um, that, that, you know, are about what, what happenings are, are going on, um, either virtually or in person. 